Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Tech Milestone. If I start to say good morning in all the languages available or known to me, it's gonna take an hour or two, but I don't want to. So let's just directly jump into the topic. We are here to discuss for which you are into the video. Do more megapixels on cameras mean better clarity? Let's check it out. I promise if you watch the entire video till the end, your opinion about it is going to change for sure. I am 100% damn sure about the same. Every new smartphone that is launched add more megapixels and claims better quality, pic quality pictures. From single cameras, we have now add quad cameras within 3 years only with around 100 plus megapixel cameras available. So but here comes the question, do these more pixels matter? See, it's pretty simple. More pixels will reduce the noise and better shots. That's what you would hear from brands promoting it. Think of. Here's the small things you need to understand before we move on. The size of the camera sensor, the number of pixels and the size of pixels. Size of camera sensor. The size of sen sensor enables it to capture images into various pixels it holds. The bigger the size means more the ability to add pixels or more light. N now next is the number of pixels. The number of pixels capture various parts of the image and combine them to form a complete image. More pixels lead to more detail. But how many mega megapixels do actually we need? So how many we need depends on how you are going to use your images. Here are some common uses like being on the computer monitor it's gonna take one to three megapixels and if you want to get a six by four prints you need two megapixels for 10 into 8 inch prints you need five megapixels for a larger prints like 14 into 11 inches print prints you need at least seven seven megapixels so if you only enjoy your photos on computer screen or upload to photos website online to share with friends you really only need one megapixel camera this is because your computer monitor is usually about 2000 into 1000 pixels which equals to 2 megapixels. 4K monitors still only have 8 megapixels. It would be on the safe side to use a 6 megapixel camera or higher to enable cropping though we crop the photos. Next comes the size of pixels. The size of pixels enables them to capture more areas and light which helps to get better image with more detailing. So now question may arise, more number of pixels and their bigger size means better quality. Then how come a 100 plus megapixel on smartphone be not good? No doubt most of the new smartphones out there have sensors which can hold about 25 to 30% of more size than normal camera sensors do. And it is almost double the pixels than the normal cameras. The amount of light that enters the sensor make them have better quality and details. But the million, millions of pixels on 100 plus megapixel sensors mean that ultra tiny pixels and low light. Example imagine you have a box with 10 different articles of equally same size. Now you are given a chance to have a slightly bigger box and double the articles. So now unwantedly you have to fit more number of particles but reduce the size due to lack of space. Similarly in the camera sensors on smartphones need to be buffed up with smaller pixels unwantedly which re reduces the light intake for them. So software comes in to add light into them which we call as a post processing. The light added reduces the quality of pictures if the quality isn't reduced the size of a single image can go up to 100 megapixel. They just want to add in more pixels because their competitor did the race to win. In simple words, bigger sensor is, gives you bigger pixels and bigger pixels give you more light and more light gives you more clarity. But companies go into marketing gimmicks and add in more pixels in slightly larger area, which will ultimately reduce the pixel size. So 
they just pixel bind to get a better output which looks much better and high quality but is not actually 100 plus megapixels so don't fall into having more megapixels in camera rather looking for a camera sensor quality the sensor brand and processing used behind it like the google cam the, or the g cam has one of the industry leading standards for post processing software for any queries or questions about the same you can comment below and in the next let's talk about do more cameras on back of the smartphone any good see you then goodbye